The flips are here, 24 hours out from signing day, and it is happening. Yesterday, the number two safety in America flipped from Florida to Texas. Yesterday, QB Dylan Riola flips from Georgia to Nebraska. Yesterday, running back Jordan Lyle flips from Ohio State to Miami. The stage is getting set for a national signing day, and there could be surprises on the horizon. I think it's safe to expect some flips. So in this video, I got director of recruiting for On3, Chad Simmons, to run down some of the biggest names on our flip radar, because there's a few big ones that I'm keeping an eye on. So hit the subscribe button to the On3 Recruits channel. We're going to get this thing going, but I need you to hit subscribe. All right, let's bring on director of recruiting for On3, Chad Simmons, and here's who we're watching. Let's start with wide receiver Jeremiah Smith, committed to Ohio State. Obviously, there's a lot of rumors about Florida State. How do you see this one playing out right now as we're 24 hours out from National Signing Day. Yeah, we've been talking about Jeremiah, what seems like for for forever, Josh, you know, in his recruitment and, and just will he stick with Ohio State? He's been committed now since, what, for a year, last December yeah. uh, in 2022. So uh, when we get down to it, you know, I think right now he stays with Ohio State. Now there has been a little bit of chatter about maybe Florida is making a late NIO run, trying to t pair him up with DJ Lagway at Florida. They're not completely, I guess, ruled out. But again, I still hear Florida State's the biggest competition there. But right now, nothing's led me to change my narrative, and that's he stays with Ohio State. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Florida State, I agree with you. I think Florida State's the one team that has a real shot to flip them. My gut, in the end, I think he sticks with Ohio State, but this one is coming down to the wire. Speaking of another one that's coming down to the wire, it's KJ Bolden. Now, I thought that his visit to Florida State last weekend would solidify things, but Chad, it did not do that because it sounds like there is a lot of buzz surrounding KJ Bolden as we're 24 hours out. Man, this is like deja vu for me, Josh. I mean, going back to August 5th, the day he announced his yeah. commitment. I, I was hearing stuff that day throughout the day from 8 a.m. all the way till he announced to where, hey, what, 6.37 p.m. in the evening that he was going to Florida State. I was hearing one minute Florida State, one minute Georgia, one minute Auburn. Here we are now, December 19th. I'm hearing the same thing. Does he stay with Florida State? Auburn. Auburn is one to watch. You can't sleep on Georgia. Again, it's like deja vu. I said the same kind of things on August 5th that morning or August 4th, day before. It's very similar. But the buzz right now, the most buzz, I would say, is around the Auburn Tigers. You know, with Hugh Freeze in contact, Zach Etheridge. Auburn is a real threat. They have been a real threat to Florida State. The buzz is there. And I'm told by someone extremely close to his recruitment that – they said, basically, Chad, if I was you, I would bet on the field, not Florida State, meaning they would pick Georgia or Auburn to sign K.J. Bolden tomorrow instead of the school is committed to Florida State. So this could go three different ways. I give Auburn the better shot than Georgia to flip. We have to wait and see can Florida State hang on here to this five-star plus safety. Mm. It definitely feels like deja vu all over again because when we were there for that August commitment, all signs pointed to anybody but FSU, and it kind of feels like that again. So we'll see. But I, I think he sticks with the Knowles, but whew, this one is up in the air. Now, one that we thought was previously up in the air was LJ McCray, but it sounds like things are solidifying between him and the Florida Gators. Yeah, Josh, I go back to Auburn. That, that's the biggest threat. We thought maybe one time Florida State was that school, but I, I do think right now LJ stays. He signs tomorrow at 10 a.m., mm -hmm. I'm told, at Mainland High School in Daytona Beach. I, I do think I expect him as of right now to stay with Florida. But, again, I'm not sleeping on Auburn University. Jeremy Garrett has that relationship with McCray. They have remained in communication. That much I can confirm, but I still get the feeling based on the intel I've received, not just today, but leading up to today, that McCray still feels very good about Florida. All right. How about Edric Houston? He's the deep five-star defensive lineman committed to Ohio State. And Ohio State's had a hard time holding on to these five-star defensive linemen. Now, Edric Houston at Buford High School is considering a flip to Alabama. What are you hearing on Houston and his commitment to Ohio State? You know, as we shoot this video today, Josh, I, I would lean slightly towards him flipping to wow. Alabama just based on the intel I've picked up. And this all has happened so quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, Bama didn't even go in for an in-home because they all thought he was locked in with Ohio State. 
Uh, and for whatever reason, he had a little bit of hesitation. Uh, the second half of last week initiated contact with Alabama and Clemson took those visits and, you know, Clemson, uh, they got him on campus, but I'm still hearing Alabama's the threat to Ohio State. He has that connection with Larry Johnson, but I'm hearing right now Bama has a real shot to flip him. I don't think a final decision has been made just yet, uh, but it's coming likely by the end of tonight. All right. Now there's more flips that I'm keeping an eye on, and everybody's talking Jeremiah Smith, but not as many people are watching what's going on with wide receiver Jeremiah McClellan. He's committed to Ohio State. He's a four-star wide receiver out of the St. Louis area. Is he a potential flip on signing day? Yeah, I mean, key word there, potential. Yes, yeah. Josh. Definitely, he's definitely one to watch. You know, I think if you ask me this, what's today, Tuesday, maybe Sunday, Saturday, I'll probably lean uh, a little more stronger that he could flip to Oregon uh, on Wednesday. But based on what I'm hearing late here on Tuesday, I like where Ohio State's at to hold on. Now, he's still talking to Junior Adams at Oregon. Dan Lanning's involved as well. Uh, they're really trying hard to flip him late. He's been there to Eugene numerous times. He likes the scheme. Uh, he likes the program. He likes Lanning's direction. Um, mm -hmm. And then moving to the Big Ten, uh, where he can play closer to home in those away games, being in Missouri, uh, I, I think that also factors into this decision too. But right now, based on what I'm hearing, maybe Ohio State has weathered that storm and has gained the momentum back late. But this was not done either. He's on flip watch, but I lean towards him sticking with Ohio State. All right. Hey, Ohio State's going to have to hold on to some of these guys. I don't know how they're all on flip watch, but Ohio State is playing some defense down the stretch. Now, running back Kevin Riley is committed to Miami, but last night Miami flipped Jordan Lyle from Ohio State. Does this open the door for Alabama to flip Kevin Riley from Miami? Yeah, I think I mentioned musical chairs with that running back position yesterday when we shot video, Josh, and everything's kind of falling into place. We thought mm -hmm. Lyle would flip, he flipped. Rayola flipped, he flipped. I mean, we've kind of seen this stuff building building for a few weeks now, and uh, the Lyle chip fell Miami's way from Ohio State. I, I think that helps Alabama flipping Kevin Riley. So right now I feel pretty confident that Riley, who's from Tuscaloosa, mm -hmm. stays home with the Crimson Tide on Wednesday. Okay, All right. Geographically, it makes sense. All right, moving on. We'll finish up with a pair of Florida commitments. Edge of Darius Hayes. He showed up on a surprise visit to Miami, kind of threw us all for for a loop on Friday. But now that kind of the emotions of it have all died down, is a Darius Hayes on flip watch heading in tomorrow? Yes. You know, I like Miami here, Josh. I mean, he's keeping, you know, everything pretty close to the vest. I mean, I've talked to people at his high school program that he talks to on a regular basis. Him and his family have kind of shut things down yeah. uh, here late. And I think Florida still has some hope uh, they can keep him in this class. But I do think with Miami getting that last visit, there's been a lot of buzz around Miami flipping multiple guys late. Uh, including Hayes. They got Jordan Lyle. We're watching guys like Armando Blunt, guys like that as well tomorrow on Wednesday. But I do like right now uh, for Hayes to end up flipping from Florida to Miami. Florida's not ruled out. There's communication still going on. It's been a long time commit since earlier in the year. But I think everything I'm hearing leads me to think Miami has a great shot tomorrow. Okay. Now, defensive lineman Amaris Williams, it looked like he was all ready to flip to Ohio State just a couple weeks ago. But now Ohio State's out. It seems like Auburn is the best team with a shot to flip him. But the Gators are not giving up. What are you hearing on Amaris Williams? This has been an odd one, Josh. I mean, like he doesn't say a lot to the media. Uh, he's taken a few visits here and there. Uh, he took his first visit to Florida, commits on the spot, goes to Ohio State a couple of times. We're all just kind of waiting for him to flip to Ohio State. Auburn swoops in, gets him on campus for that last OV. He decides not to go to Georgia this past weekend. All signs still lead to me that he, he flips to Auburn on Wednesday. But nobody really knows. I don't yeah. think he's told Florida officially no. I don't think he's told Auburn 100% yes, I'm in. And there's still a little bit of talk about Ohio State being in communication and still in this race as well, even though I think they're definitely the third team on the outside looking in. I think everything putting the pieces together, I like where Auburn's at coming into signing day. Well, we just went over eight or nine names. The only name that I didn't mention was Armando Blunt, the five-star defensive lineman that's committed to Florida State, but all signs look like he's ready to flip to Miami. Is that the expectation on signing day? 
you know, I'd be pretty shocked, Josh. Everything I'm hearing, the visit went outstanding for him and his family in Coral Gables over the weekend. Uh, I think he wants to enjoy the time as a, you know, recruit. I mean, he's reclassified, kind of skipped the whole year and a half of his high school career. He's going to enroll in college in January. So I think he's taking these final few days, enjoy it, make some phone calls, spend time with family tomorrow night when he signs. I think it's with the Miami Hurricanes. Mm. Well, it is a big game of musical chairs, like you said. Tomorrow, it's going to be fun. We'll be right here on the On3 Recruits channel doing a live show on National Signing Day. Chad Simmons will be in studio. J.D. Piquel will be in studio. It's going to be a blast. Chad, I'll see you tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.